Insvikrant, a force multiplier, aircraft carrier, made in India India's newest and most powerful ship. The aircraft carrier Insvikrant is inducted into the Navy. India's newest and most powerful ship, the aircraft carrier Insvikrant, was inducted into the Navy last Friday. India is currently building a new generation of warships for its navy and the Vikrant is the most visible symbol of Indian pride and industry. The latest, locally designed and manufactured Indian weapons system, the Vikrant not only highlights the abilities of a maturing military-industrial complex, but is also a powerful reminder of a program mired in bureaucratic delays and cost overruns. Its capabilities already fall short of what India's next generation navy needs. Indian strategists are increasingly focused on what it will take to defeat China in a future naval conflict. Aircraft carriers will play a part in that conflict but their designs have to be able to stand up to powerful weapons systems coming online. In short, long delays risk obsolescence. The Vikrant, whilst a milestone for India's military indigenization program, is an older design that is already almost out of date. It is better compared to China's own first domestically made aircraft carrier, the Shandong, commissioned in 2019. Both are modified Soviet-era designs. In 1999, Defense Minister George Fernandez authorized the development and construction of an aircraft carrier, Insvikrant, under the Project 71 air defense ship, adds. By that time, given the aging Sea Harrier fleet, the letter of intent called for a carrier that would carry more modern jet fighters. In 2001, Kochi Shipyard Limited, CSL, released a graphic illustration showing a 32,000 ton, 31,000 long ton, 35,000 short ton STOBAR, short takeoff but arrested. Recovery design with a pronounced ski jump. 32. The aircraft carrier project finally received formal government approval in January 2003. By then, design updates called for a 37,500 ton, 36,900 long ton, 41,300 short ton carrier to operate the Mikoyan MiG 29K. India opted for a Three carrier fleet consisting of one carrier battle group stationed on each seaboard, and a third carrier held in reserve, in order to continuously protect both its flanks, to protect economic interests and mercantile traffic, and to provide humanitarian platforms in times of disasters, since a carrier can provide a self generating supply of fresh water, medical assistance or engineering expertise to populations in need for assistance. In August 2006, Chief of the Naval Staff Admiral Aaron Prakash stated that the designation for the vessel had been changed from air defense ship, adds, to indigenous aircraft carrier, IAC. The euphemistic ads had been adopted in planning stages to ward off concerns about a naval buildup. Final revisions to the design increased the displacement of the carrier from 37,500 tons to over 40,000 tons. The length of the ship also increased from 252 meters, 827 feet, to 262 meters, 860 feet. India considered a number of Aircraft for operation from its aircraft carrier, INS Vikramaditya and the planned indigenous aircraft carrier. India evaluated the Russian Sukhoi Su-33, but chose the lighter MiG-29K. As Vikramaditya was smaller and lacked an aircraft catapult. 
On 18 January 2010, it was reported that India and Russia were close to signing a deal for 29 MiG-29K fighters to operate from IAC-1. In addition, the Navy signed a deal for six naval variants of the indigenous HAL Tekus. In June 2012, Flight Global reported that the Indian Navy was considering the use of the Dassault Rafale M naval variant on these carriers. On 6 January 2022, the Indian Navy started testing the Rafale M for operations from INS Vikrant at the shore based test facility at INS Hansa in Goa. Some reports citing the same also indicated that the Boeing F. A. 180. F. Super Hornet would be tested at the same locale in March 2022. In December 2016, the Navy announced that the HAL Tekus was overweight for carrier operations, and other alternatives would be looked at. The Navy settled with MiG 29K as the primary aircraft for the IAC 1. In late January, 2017, the Indian Navy released an international request for information, RFI, for 57 and quat, multi-role carrier-borne fighters and quat. The main contest was between the Boeing F, A-18E, F, Super Hornet and the Dassault Rafale M. Both these aircraft are operable on the Vikrant and Vikramaditya. In December 2020, Boeing demonstrated F, A-18E, F operations from Indian carriers at the shore-based test facility at Naval Air Station Patuxent River in Maryland, U.S. In mid-2020, the Navy announced that it was seeking 36 fighters instead of the initial 57 proposed due to budgetary constraints. After the HAL Tekus and the Tekus MK-2 were considered overweight for carrier operations, the Defense Research and Development Organization introduced a program to develop a twin-engine, carrier-based, multi-role combat aircraft called the HAL Twin Engine Deck-Based Fighter, TEDBF. For the Indian Navy, a model of the aircraft was displayed at Aero India 2021. The first flight is expected in 2026 with induction into the forces by 2032. The TEDBF is expected to perform multiple roles like combat air, patrol, air-to-air -air combat, anti-ship strike and buddy refueling. This aircraft has also been Envisioned to operate from the INS Vikrant, INS Vikramaditya and the future aircraft. Carrier INS Vishal. Vikrant is the first aircraft carrier to be designed by the Warship Design Bureau, formerly Directorate of Naval Design, of the Indian Navy and the first warship to be built by Kochi Shipyard. Its construction involved participation of a large number of private and public firms. The Defense Metallurgical Research Laboratory, DMRL, and Steel Authority of India. Limited. Sale. Created facilities to manufacture the DMR 249 grade steel in India. Reportedly. 26,000 tons, 26,000 long tons, 29,000 short tons, of three types of special steel for the hull. Flight deck and floor compartments were manufactured at the Bocaro Steel Plant, Jharkhand, Belai Steel Plant, Chhattisgarh and Rorkela Steel Plant, Odisha. Due to this, Vikrant is the first ship of the Indian Navy to be built completely using domestically produced steel. The main switchboard, steering gear and water tight hatches have been Manufactured by Larsen and Tubro in Mumbai and Talagaon, high-capacity air conditioning and refrigeration systems have been manufactured in Kurloska Group's plants. 
In Pune, most pumps have been supplied by Best and Crompton. Bar at Heavy Electricals, Bell supplied the Integrated Platform Management System, IPMS, which is being installed by Avio, an Italian company. The gearbox was supplied by Elecon Engineering, and the electrical cables are being supplied by Nico Industries. Fincantieri provided consultancy for the propulsion package while Russia's Nevskoye Design Bureau designed the aviation complex. The keel for Vikrant was laid by Defense Minister A.K. Antony at the Kochi shipyard. On 28 February 2009, the ship uses modular construction, with 874 blocks joined for the hull. By the time the keel was laid, 423 blocks weighing over 8,000 tons had been completed. In August 2011, the Defense Ministry reported to the Lok Sabha that 75% of the construction work for the hull of the lead carrier had been completed and the carrier would be first launched in December 2011, following which further works would be completed until commissioning. On 29 December 2011, the completed hull of the carrier was first floated out of its dry dock at CSL, with its displacement at over 14,000 tons, 14,000 long tons, 15,000 short tons. Interior works and fittings on the hull would be carried out until the second half of 2012, when it would again be dry docked for integration with its propulsion and power generation systems. By late 2012, work commenced for the next stage of construction, which included the installation of the integrated propulsion system, the superstructure, the upper decks, the cabling, sensors and weapons. On 31 October 2019, Kochi Shipyard received a 30 billion rupees, equivalent to 32 billion rupees or US $400 million in 2020, contract for the Phase 3 of the project. This contract included funds for the harbor trials, sea trials and support for the ship during its weapons and aviation trials. After its delivery, in December 2019, it was reported the engines had been switched on. By September 2020, Vikrant had completed harbor trials while the basin trials started from October 2020 to check propulsion, electric transmission and shafting systems. On 30 November 2020, the basin trials were completed, paving the way for sea trials, the final phase of the IACI project. Basin trials of the aircraft carrier. In April 2021, it was reported work had begun to integrate the long-range surface-to-air missile, LRSAM, on board Vikrant. On 15 June 2021, Vikrant was moved to the Air Nakalam Wharf in Kochi, Kerala. On 4 August 2021, sea trials finally began. The first phase of the sea trials was successfully completed on 8 August 2021. The second phase of the trials was conducted on 24 October 2021, followed by the third phase from 9 to 17 January 2022, both of which were completed successfully. On 10 July, the fourth and final phase of the sea trials was successfully completed. This phase involved integrated trials of most of the equipment and systems aboard Vikrant, including portions of the aviation facilities. Complex. Prime Minister Narendra Modi commissioned INS Vikrant on 2 September 2022 in a grand ceremony at Kochi Shipyard. Earlier, INS Vikrant was delivered to the Indian Navy on 28 July 2022. 
Flight trials of its aircraft complement are expected to be completed by mid-2023, after which the ship will be fully operational. In March 2020, it was revealed that after its commissioning, the Navy will deploy Vikrant at Larsen and Tuberos Shipyard in Katupali near Chennai. This was done as the planned naval base in Rambili near Vishakhapatnam was not ready yet. The Navy wants to lease a 260 meters berth at Katupali Shipyard for eight years between 2022 and 2030 for interim berthing of the ship, by which time the naval base at Rambili is expected to be available. India, with the induction of its first indigenous aircraft carrier, INS Vikrant, is set to contain China's iniquitous intentions to control the Indo-Pacific region. As preparations for India's third aircraft carrier have already been set in motion, it is a clear message to China and Pakistan of its nefarious design in keeping with the theme of being combat ready, credible and cohesive force in the Indian Ocean region. The INS Vikrant is a force multiplier that will be a game changer in the current regional maritime security dynamics as the IAC will boost India's maritime defense capabilities with the in-service carrier INS Vikramaditya. It is well known that China, which has been demonstrating an increasingly aggressive posture along the land boundary with India, is also attempting to get a foothold in the Indian Ocean, which is increasingly becoming a stage of rivalry between India and China. At a top speed of about 28 knots and an endurance of 7,500 nautical miles, the IAC can readily be deployed to an area of potential threat. The 262-meter long and 62-meter tall aircraft carrier can carry 1,600 sailors and displaces about 43,000 tons of water will bolster its navy capabilities amid growing concerns over the Chinese regime's assertiveness in the region. He ship has over 2,300 compartments, designed for a crew of around 1,700 people, including specialized cabins to accommodate women officers. Vikrant has a top speed of around 28 knots and a cruising speed of 18 knots with an endurance of about 7,500 nautical miles. The aircraft carrier is 262 meters long, 62 meters wide and it has a height of 59 meters. Its keel was laid in 2009. The commissioning of India's first indigenous aircraft carrier is a momentous occasion during the Amrit Kal of India's 75 years of independence and signifies the country's confidence and prowess. This indigenous aircraft carrier is proof of the country's technical acumen and engineering skills. This demonstration of India's self-sufficiency to produce an aircraft carrier warship will reinforce the country's defense indigenization programs and make in India campaign.